of the Holy Sepulchre in the Christian faith? Nestled in the heart of Jerusalem, this sacred edifice is deeply revered by Christians worldwide. It's believed to be the very site where Jesus Christ was crucified, buried, and resurrected, making it a cornerstone of Christian spirituality. This church isn't just a building, but a testament to faith that transcends time and space. Stay tuned as we delve into a journey of faith, history, and spirituality. The Church of the Holy Sepulchre's story begins in the 4th century, a time when Emperor Constantine, the first Roman emperor to convert to Christianity, commanded the construction of this monumental edifice. This decision was inspired by his mother Helena, who during her pilgrimage to Jerusalem, discovered what was believed to be the tomb of Jesus Christ in the year 326 AD. Upon this sacred ground, Constantine ordered the construction of a grand church, a task that was no small feat. Builders and artisans were brought from all corners of the Roman Empire, each contributing to the church's magnificent design. The architectural style of the original church was a reflection of the spirit of that era, embodying the grandeur and splendor that characterized the early Christian Byzantine architecture. It boasted a complex of buildings, including a basilica, a rotunda, and an enclosed colonnaded atrium. However, like any story worth telling, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre has seen its share of trials and tribulations. Over the centuries it has been destroyed, rebuilt, and altered numerous times, each transformation reflecting the changing tides of history and the evolving expressions of faith. The Persians laid waste to the church in the 7th century, only for it to be rebuilt by Byzantine Emperor Heraclius. Then in the 11th century, the Fatimid Caliph al-Hakim ordered its destruction yet again, but this time, the church remained in ruins for nearly half a century before it was reconstructed. Each reconstruction and renovation brought with it changes, subtly altering the church's architectural style. The Byzantine grandeur gave way to the Crusaders' Gothic influences, then later, to the more austere aesthetics of the Franciscan custodianship. Today, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre is a fascinating blend of architectural styles, each layer telling a unique tale of resilience and faith. Its walls have stood witness to countless moments of prayer, sorrow, and joy, echoing the voices of the countless pilgrims who have sought solace within its hallowed halls. Indeed, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre stands as a testament to time, bearing witness to the evolution of Christian architecture. For centuries, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre has been a beacon, drawing in believers from all corners of the world. This hallowed ground serves as a spiritual magnet, pulling in thousands upon thousands of Christian pilgrims every year. Each individual arrives with a sense of awe and reverence, eager to walk in the footsteps of their Savior. The allure of this church is not just in its storied history or architectural grandeur, but in the sacred narrative it embodies. It's a living testament to key moments in Christian lore, the crucifixion, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Pilgrims who journey here are not just visitors, but participants in a timeless story of faith and redemption. As they step into the church, they find themselves in a labyrinth of sanctuaries, each carrying its own weight of religious significance. The Stone of Anointing, for instance, is believed to be the spot where Jesus' body was prepared for burial. Touching this relic, pilgrims often experience a profound sense of connection to the divine. The edifice also houses the Chapel of Adam, a site many believe to be directly below Golgotha, the place of Jesus' crucifixion. The chapel serves as a poignant reminder of humanity's fall and subsequent redemption through Christ's sacrifice. Of course, the heart of the church, and perhaps its most visited spot, is the sepulchre itself the tomb where Jesus was laid to rest and from where he rose again. Many who travel here describe their visit to the sepulcher as a spiritually transformative experience. Despite the throngs of visitors, there's an undeniable sense of peace within these ancient walls. Whether it's in the hushed whispers of prayer, the soft glow of candlelight, or the scent of incense wafting through the air, one can't help but feel a deep sense of reverence. The Church of the Holy Sepulchre remains a spiritual haven, a destination for those seeking a profound connection with their faith. It's more than just a place of pilgrimage, it's a journey into the heart of Christian belief, a testament to the enduring power of faith, and a reminder of the promise of redemption. One of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre's most fascinating traditions involves a fire, believed by many to be a divine phenomenon. This is not just any fire, but the Holy Fire, a miraculous event that takes place annually on Holy Saturday, the day before Easter Sunday. 
This tradition is steeped in centuries of faith and holds a deep spiritual significance for believers. The Holy Fire Ceremony is a spectacle to behold. It all begins with a solemn procession led by the Greek Orthodox Patriarch of Jerusalem. The Patriarch enters the tomb of Jesus alone with a bundle of 33 candles, representing the years of Jesus' life on earth. He prays and waits for the miraculous appearance of the Holy Fire. The anticipation in the air is palpable as the crowd waits in silence, their hearts filled with hope and faith. And then, it happens. The Patriarch emerges from the tomb, the candles in his hands ablaze with what is believed to be the Holy Fire. This is not just an ordinary flame, but a divine light that believers claim does not burn in the initial moments after its appearance. The flame is then shared among the congregation, spreading rapidly from candle to candle, filling the church with a warm, golden glow. This sharing of the holy fire symbolizes the spreading of the good news of Christ's resurrection, a central tenet of Christian belief. But the holy fire is more than a spectacle, it is a divine phenomenon that strengthens the faith of believers, a tangible sign of the divine that fuels their devotion. This event is a powerful reminder of the resurrection of Jesus, the cornerstone of Christian faith. It also serves as a beacon of hope, a symbol of the light of Christ that overcomes the darkness. The Holy Fire Ceremony continues to draw millions of believers from around the world, year after year. For them, participating in this event is a profound spiritual experience, a chance to touch and be touched by the divine. The Holy Fire, a symbol of Christ's resurrection, continues to kindle the faith of millions. This tradition, rooted in faith and steeped in history, is a testament to the enduring power of belief and the timeless appeal of the divine. In today's world, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre symbolizes both unity and division. For centuries, this sacred site has been a shared space among various Christian denominations, each with its own unique traditions and practices. This coexistence within the Church's ancient walls is a living testament to the unity that can emerge from diversity. It's a place where the Greek Orthodox, Roman Catholics, Armenian Apostolics, and others each find a home, each contribute to the rich tapestry of faith that is woven here. Yet the Church of the Holy Sepulchre also mirrors the divisions that exist within Christianity. Each denomination has its own designated areas within the Church, and these boundaries are highly respected, if not strictly enforced. There are even times when this division becomes palpable, like during the Holy Week, when separate processions are held, each following its own ancient rituals and traditions. Managing this complex cohabitation is not without its challenges. Over the centuries, conflicts have arisen over rights and responsibilities, over who gets to worship, where and when. This has led to what is known as the status quo agreement, a delicate balance of power and space that has been maintained, more or less, since the mid-19th century. The status quo agreement is an intricate set of rules and traditions that governs everything from who cleans which part of the church to the exact timing of each denomination's liturgies. It's a remarkable system, one that has managed to keep the peace, albeit precariously, among these diverse Christian communities. But let's not lose sight of the bigger picture here. Despite these divisions, despite the occasional conflicts and disagreements, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre continues to be a beacon of faith for millions around the world. It's a place where differences are set aside, where shared beliefs are celebrated, where the message of love and forgiveness is echoed in every stone and corner. Despite the differences, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre stands as a unifying symbol, a testament to the enduring power and resilience of faith. As we conclude our journey, we're left with a profound understanding of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre's lasting significance. This magnificent structure, painstakingly erected centuries ago, stands today, not merely as a testament to architectural prowess, but as a symbol of faith and devotion. It is more than just bricks and mortar, it is a place of pilgrimage, a destination that has drawn countless believers to its hallowed ground, seeking solace, redemption, and spiritual enlightenment. Each stone, each corner of this sacred edifice, echoes with the silent prayers and whispered hopes of those who have come before. We've delved into the mystery of the Holy Fire, a divine phenomenon that has baffled and awed observers for centuries. This annual miracle is a vivid reminder of the Church's spiritual significance and its deep connection to the Christian faith. But perhaps what gives the Church of the Holy Sepulchre its enduring relevance is its symbolic representation of Christian unity and division. It stands as a beacon, a rallying point for different Christian sects to come together, despite their divergent beliefs and practices. 
At the same time, it serves as a mirror, reflecting the divisions within the Christian community, reminding us of the challenges that come with faith and the need for understanding and reconciliation. The Church of the Holy Sepulchre, a beacon of faith and history, continues to inspire millions